Hi guys! As most of you already know, we have been posting videos with tips and tricks for the Bamboo Labs 3D printers. And today's video is no exception. In this video, we will explain how you can store the print files that you are sending through the cloud on the printer's memory card. You want to know more? Then stay tuned! Hi guys, welcome back! My name is Rui and this is the Rui Raptor YouTube channel. If you want to help us out, you can by giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also help by joining our Patreon page or by clicking on any of the affiliate links posted below in the video description. So, today we will explain how you can store the files that you are sending through the cloud to print on the printer's memory card. This is very handy because if you want to print the same file later on, you don't need to slice them again and, most important, you don't need the computer to upload them. This feature is only working for the X1 series at the moment we made this video. However, this feature might be added for the P1P as well with future firmware versions. Ok, so to do this for the X1 series is very simple. First, you need to go to the printer's display, enter the second tab and click on print options. And there, you will find several options such as enable AI monitoring of printing, enable detection of build plate, first layer inspection and auto recovery from step loss. These options are also available from the studio slicer on the device tab and print options button. However, the option we are looking for to store the files cannot be found here from the slicer. It can only be found on the printer's display and you need to slide down to reach it. And here it is. It's the option to cache cloud print files to the micro SD card. And with this enabled, every time you upload a file to print through the cloud, the printer will store the file on a separate folder on the memory card so that you can use it later on and use it to print as many times you need. To access these files, go to the third tab and in there you should see a print cache folder. If you enter that folder, you should now see the files in there. To print one of these files is the same as any other on the memory card. Just click on it, select which color you want and start. That's it. Pretty simple, isn't it? And that's it you guys, hope you liked the video. And if you haven't seen the previous videos with tips and tricks, check the video description below for the links. We will see you guys next time. Bye!